it is a very bad rainy day. That's all I have to say for him. And we also saw a seal. That is cool too. I'm hoping we get to see a beluga because that would be cool and I would win the bet too. Even my dad doesn't know my name. He thinks I'm Charlotte. Only because we're wearing the same hat. And same life jacket. And everything. Basically. Except she's wearing long pants and I'm wearing shorts. Except you can't see that because of this basically skirt thingy, whatever it's called. We're going to be spending today and tomorrow on the Sagney Fjords. Some of the possibilities are seals, beluga whales, humpback whales, and if we're very lucky, maybe a bluefin whale. So, first off, we're gonna slowly kind of keep moving forward and we're gonna try to cross because it's beautiful right now. We, we seem to have enough visibility to, to cross and uh, nothing's in the way. I just need to see what's uh, coming from the other side before we make that decision. But quite literally, if we can just cross, that would be good because then the more technical side of the travel today will be out, out of the way. This place is a geologist's dream, to be honest. All of this around us, I was, um, you have to imagine that 10,000 years ago, we had three to four kilometers worth of ice here during the ice age. And as the glaciers retracted and the melt, melting happened, the glaciers carved their way through the fjords out here. And just like when you sit on a couch cushion, and when you get up, the couch cushion regains its form. The same thing happened with the Earth's crust, with all that weight of the, of, the, of, the, of the ice on the Earth's crust when it receded. Not only did it dig the fjords, but it also allowed for the, the Earth's crust to regain its full uh, capacity. Actually, to this day, I was reading at the other camps that we were at yesterday, that every year these mountains grow by three millimeters every year, just from that action still of like the retraction of all that weight on the Earth's crust. Thousands of years ago when the water was much higher, this cave here would have been dug by the action of the water and that's what we can see here with all the holes in the caves and all that. That's all the water kind of eroding at the rocks and slowly eat eating at it. It's a very, very unique place. I see white caps. That's yeah, okay, we're gonna stick close to shore now. Okay. Good, good eyes though, that's very important that you notice that. Why, is, why are there white caps? There weren't white caps. Oh, the wind was gone. Jeez, my hat's about to blow off. Come here, I'll show you how to do um I'll show you how to do a moose call. Okay, so thumbs together. Right on top of the left. Left on top, left on top of right. Opposite. You clasp the last two. Okay, now you have it. Now squeeze it as tight as possible. Put it down. And then here it goes. Wait, wait. Here, yeah, moosey, 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 moosey. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
You're it. <laughs> The Saguenay Fjords is one of the most unique places that you can come in the Northeast to witness a magnificent landscape and see some majestic wildlife such as beluga whales, humpback whales, seals. But the one challenge that the fjords offer is that this is a sea or a marine environment, meaning you have tides to worry about, different winds to worry about, and it can be tricky and dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Which leads me to thank today's sponsor, Sagne Adventure. If you're looking to go on a sea kayaking day trip and just witness some wildlife and see some beautiful landscape, they've got you covered. If you'd like to go on a multi-day sea kayaking trip, they've got you covered. And on top of that, they have amazing guides who are super knowledgeable that can make sure that you're safe at all time. Also, that can teach you about everything that you see around here. This is really the unique thing about going out on a guided tour is that you can learn so much more than if you go on your own. For me, what I needed, I needed a place so I could rent sea kayaks. I needed a place so I can kind of double check that my itinerary and my safety plans were good and I also needed someone to drive my car from one end to the other so I don't have to worry about the shuttle. I'll leave the link in the description below. I've had an amazing experience with them. I've used them multiple times on different trips in the area out here. They're extremely kind and genuine and knowledgeable. I highly recommend them. Saguenay Adventure, thank you for sponsoring this video. Now it's dinner time. Thank you, Papino. Our second day and our last day here in the Saguenay Fjords. And it's been raining all night. Everything's wet. <laughs> oh, and it's still raining this morning. 
As much as you always wish for no rain when you go out on a trip, considering all the forest fire we've been having around, it's hard to be mad at the rain today, but it's certainly gonna make for a bit of an interesting paddle home. The good news is uh, there's absolutely no wind out on the fjords. The challenge that we're gonna be facing is that there is also no visibility. And considering the kind of traffic that you can get here with container boats and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna be tricky to cross because we have one crossing to do to get back onto the south side of the fjords. And today should be a day where we're gonna have the most odds of seeing any kind of beluga wells. Go. All right, so we're just about to enter the Bay Saint Marguerite, which is the uh, protected area for the belugas. And so there's a there's a very specific section that you're not allowed to paddle through to protect the the population. And typically speaking, they, uh, they're they asking you to stay on the outside of the bay. But in case of bad weather, like right now, because there's no visibility being in the middle of the fjords to cross would be actually quite dangerous because if a big boat would come around, uh, we would be invisible to them. So we're gonna use the inside line. It's uh, very safe and designed for that. So we're gonna basically essentially go into the bay, go around the protected area. And if we're lucky at all, well, we might get a little bit of a view. Yeah, we're gonna see belugas. Pardon me? We're gonna see belugas. We're hoping to see belugas. Yeah. Uh, Dad, are we at the beluga part? Yeah, well, it's, that's the bay, so you gotta keep your eyes open. It doesn't look like we're gonna see any belugas. We're halfway through and we have seen nothing. So they're probably just hanging out on the bottom. Yo, those rocks are sick looking. here we can hear a boat in the distance probably have a two nautical mile vision in the fog so it's not ideal but it's open enough that it's safe so we're gonna do the crossing right now it's a, it's really at the uh, narrowest of the fjords at this point we're right by the power line We're, that we're stopping? It looks like we're safe. The far point, Rosie. Yeah. That point? Yeah, then we go into the bay. Yeah. Is it actually there? I think so. Oh, mom. You're really ripping them off here, Mark. <laughs> yeah, could have just like... We could have taken a boat. <laughs> <laughs> See, he moved out of the way. Yeah, Did you just me? <laughs> Right there? What else am I supposed to do? No fuck one more. I have to pee so bad. What's in here? What's in here? Suggestion. What's in here? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Well, if you think there's a better way, sure. Hold my stuff and I'll get out of the. Sure is a better way. 
thought you said we could have dry potatoes. <laughs> I don't want cheesy. The waves are gonna come in. <laughs> What is that? A seal. Seal? Total seal. Let's go see it. Hey, look to your right. Seal. seal. Oh, it's adorable. Well, it's the end of the adventure now. We're just at the takeout point. Didn't get to quite see what we were looking for here. Some of the. Uh, whales and whatnot. Nonetheless, an absolute, absolute amazing place to come out. The girls and I and Nat had such a wonderful time out here. The landscape is absolutely magnificent. It's very easy to understand why they call this the land of the giants once you're in it. Everything is absolutely humongous. Just as we were pulling into this bay, we saw a little seal here, so that was fun to be able to see a seal. Didn't get to really capture it on the video though. Maybe we did, but the, we were pretty far. So with the cameras that I have, it's always hard to make out things from this far. But nonetheless, I'm extremely thankful to be able to do this. It's definitely one of the most unique places that you can come visit in North America. I highly recommend it. And until next time, thanks for watching everybody.